Hey guys, this is Oracle Daphne. My name is Beth and I'm back today to talk about the August 21st, 2017 solar eclipse. It's a total solar eclipse in Leo. And uh, for those of you who are new to my channel, welcome. I don't normally post a lot of astrology videos. I do the horoscopes in the beginning of the month and mid-month. Um, for those of you who are new, thank you so much for stopping in and checking out what I've got on my channel. Um, most of my videos are for rental purchase, but this video is gonna be free for everyone. I decided that it was super important that I record this for everyone because uh, I was looking online to see you know, what, what the general, you know, feel is for the this total solar eclipse in Leo and I really wasn't vibing with anything that's out there right now I just wasn't and I wanted to you know put out my my video because it does have a different perspective on the energies around this this eclipse so to jump in just to start um just to give you the, the technical information there's going to be a total solar eclipse on August 21st 2017 at 2:25 p.m. at 28 degrees of Leo, um, and the following day the sun enters Virgo. Okay, um, during the time of the eclipse, at the time of the eclipse, Mercury is going to be in retrograde. Mercury is in retrograde in the sign of Virgo from uh, August 12th. 2017 through September 5th, 2017. It goes direct on September 5th. However, Mercury retrogrades are felt much, much, much prior to the actual, you know, planetary transit of it, of it, of it being retrograde. And there's a shadow period afterwards as well. And for those of you who don't know what a Mercury retrograde is, Mercury is a, uh, is a, tr is a planet that transit when it does this weird orbit thing, it's like an orbit. Um, it goes into its retrograde. It actually looks like it's going, you know, it's going backwards in the sky. And it's not, it's just a weird, it's just a weird orbit. Um, but anyways, Mercury retrograde, I feel is, is something that, um, we're going to feel a lot more than the solar eclipse. And I want to address a couple things. I do feel like the energy of fear is very strong. So a lot of people are in a place of fear, fear of thinking worst case scenarios about this solar eclipse. Uh, we're talking stock, you know, stuff like that. We're talking doomsday stuff, you know, and I just, I felt like it was super important to tell everybody that I really do think... <clears throat> This solar eclipse is actually going to be quite mild compared to some of the other ones. And um, I do feel like there's a lot of uh, things that things around it, energies around it though, that I want people to be aware of. Okay. So the, the main thing is I feel like the eclipse itself, the solar eclipse itself is in some way mm, taking people's attention off of their surroundings or off of something else that they need to to be aware of so to me it's almost as if you know especially for people in north america because people in north in, uh, in north america are going to be able to see this total total solar eclipse um and this hasn't this kind of event hasn't happened since 1776 so people are kind of bigging it up and thinking you know this is this is a really big deal and it is a big deal but i also feel like people are not necessarily going to be paying attention to other things. They're going to be either so focused on this eclipse that there, there are other things that may need attention or other things that may need other pans that are on the, the, the fire um, that may need uh, looking out, out for after may, uh, it may cause problems um, because either there's so much of a focus on this eclipse or so much of a focus on a certain energy or a certain person at this time. So, my feeling is I actually feel like the solar eclipse is kind of going to be a blip on the radar. And I'm going to leave a link in the description box below to, there's a website called Astrology Zone. Um, I've talked about this site before. I really like this site. It talks about all the dates and all the solar eclipse dates that go back, I don't know, 20 years or whatever. And I just feel like solar eclipses have been happening for so long that it's not something that's out of the ordinary. It happens every single year. It happens quite often. The only difference is that this time, you know, since 1776, people in North America haven't been kind of spotlighted or haven't really been able to see this total, total, total event. So, um, my feeling is do not get sucked down into the fear energy. Um, it's super important. And, and normally on my channel, 
I, I focus on, um, I, I do focus on the positive, but you know, I'm very brutally honest when it comes to what I see and, and when it comes to the energy. And if I felt like this energy was something that everybody needed to really like, you know, buckle down and like take cover, you know, <laughs> hit the deck, you know, <laughs> if, if it was something like that, then I would tell you, like, I, I definitely would tell you and I definitely would let everyone know. So, uh, so that's what I want to say about that. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Mercury retrogrades, Mercury retrogrades usually rule like electronic problems, traffic problems, uh, communication errors. Um, I actually see, I didn't see this before, I actually see uh, like a text message going to the wrong person. So, you know, this is where text messages get sent an error to things. You know, there's cross communication, um, people not really having good communication at, 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 at certain points. So um, that's Mercury retrograde. And, it, and that energy kind of, to me, it feels like it's a fog. To me, it feels like a dense fog that people are going to be kind of immersed in with all these like little technical problems or all these little errors. Virgo like rules like the details, the devil's in the details, right? So, so the energy, the fact that the sun's going to be in Virgo the day after this eclipse, I feel like at the time of the eclipse, people are still going to be, are going to be feeling some element of the Virgo energy. That's that's my that's what I that's my two cents. That's what I think. And I think people need to look at the fine print. If you are applying it for a job, look at the fine print. Look at the contracts. Look at um, look deeper into what somebody tells you. Okay. So this is where I want to shift also and talk about the Leo energy. Okay, the Leo energy. And for those of you who um, didn't watch my North Node in Leo energy, and the North Node will be in Leo until I think November 2018 then you definitely need to check that out because I talked all about that energy what I saw, you know, for, for this period of time because of that. Um, it's definitely tying in with the solar eclipse. I mean, the solar eclipse is in Leo, right? And I and I think it's so interesting because to me, we're at the tail end of Leo. What's the tail? It's the cat's tail, right? It's the cat's meow. It's the, it's that, it, to me, it has an element of fun, which, which you wouldn't expect. But to me, it's an element of fun um, because it's the tail end of Leo and Leos like to have fun in general. And so there's something about this Leo energy. Now, because there's this, there, the eclipse itself, let's talk about the energy of an eclipse itself. The energy of the eclipse itself is quite, um, you know, it's, it's really all about change and to me, unexpected changes. Um, unexpected shakeups, unexpected things that are going to happen that, that you're not, that you may not be planning on. Um, uh, my guide also wanted me to, sh to share um, this card, which to me is the epiphany, epitome, epitome of, of what the, the, it represents the energy of the solar eclipse itself, okay, on that day, the energy of that day, let's just say the 21st of August, 2017, and, uh, and days around it, okay, and that's the storm fields, okay, and this is from my Enchanted Map Oracle deck, and this is one of the only decks, actually, it is the only deck that I have that I haven't written on and, and sort of adapted and changed because I have a lot of, take a lot of artistic creative license to my decks, but uh, I'm going to read this to you because I feel like it's important that you hear me say these words. I'm going to read it directly from the book. This is exactly what it says. Um, it says, this too shall pass. That It literally says that in the book. I'm sure if you see it, it says, this too shall pass. And it says, an, un an uncomfortable chaos is surrounding you. Things that you left unattended may be the cause of some conflict. Uh, pent up energy needs release, just as a storm in nature must break. For these events to occur, uh, when the electricity between opposing forces stirs things up and creates temporary disorder. Oh, oh, oh okay, it says pent up energy. Oh, it says, for these events occur when the electricity between opposing forces stir things up and creates temporary disorder. Yeah, so when when energy kind of, it's something, it's like, it's sort of, it is like a storm. Energies, you know, storm energies need to kind of break, they need to release. And I want to let the guys know here something. Okay, so, 
when it comes to female cycles, you know, female cycles are charted by the moon. And since we're talking about astrology, uh, we might as well talk about the, it, there's a, it's a new moon. It's a new moon, uh, solar eclipse. And what happens on a new moon? Well, women who are cycling according to the moon, uh, not all women cycle according to the moon, like their menstruation cycle may be different. They, their menstruation cycle may be completely different, uh, especially if they're on birth control pills. Okay. But, um, women's natural normal cycle for, for most people is according to the moon is, is cycles according to the moon and the moon, uh, the dark of the moon typically is about when everybody gets their period. So, so guys, mark your calendar is that day, especially because it's a solar eclipse. This is where you don't really want to, mm, <laughs> this is where you don't want to pick a fight with your partner or your spouse. This is where you don't want to say anything that's just off the, you know, just on your mind that you want to just feel like sharing and opening up about. This is where you don't want to rehash something, okay? Because this is when on the 21st, total solar eclipse, this is when there's something that needs to be released. So this is like, you know, around the time women get their period, they also get really emotional. So this could be something that comes out, whether it's emotion that comes out, whether things that are said that have been kind of pent up for a long time come out. Um, and this is kind of volatile. It's a, definitely a volatile moment. It's definitely a volatile day. Okay, guys. So guys and girls. Okay. And ladies, you know, you may not, you may not want to go into work that day. You may want to kind of call off. Okay. And everybody in general may want to call off on that day. Okay. Because emotions are going to run high. Okay. Because it's a time of releasing. So anything that you haven't said is going to kind of boil up to the surface. It's going to kind of come to a boiling point or a time where things need to, you know, and again, I do feel like around this time, you know, things are going to come out or come up that need to come up. Uh, conversations that need to have, need to be had are going to be had. Um, and I definitely feel like this, there's a lot of news media stuff. So I really wouldn't be surprised if things come up in the media, you know, that's unexpected. Um, I'm just not going to go too far into that, that area, but I'm sure those, you know, those of you who've been watching the media for a long time now, you know, get what I'm trying to say. So, uh, I won't go too far that way, but I definitely feel like there's something about things coming up, the unexpected. Okay. And to me, this storm fields cloud is like the same as the tower in my regular deck. And the tower is about unexpected events. It's about being kind of awoken after being asleep for so long. So um, something unexpected may transpire, you know, and it might not be a bad thing. Remember to me, this, the message here, uh, of the, you know, the storm fields energy is, uh, it's about releasing. And the, when it, when things are released, then it finally, everything's out in the open and it's a positive thing. Um, it says, not all storms are destructive. Rather, they serve nature by bringing rain to the ground and wind to the trees, enabling seeds to be widely distributed and continuous growth to be assured. Just remember that whatever is being stirred up inside you or between you and another will benefit you later. The sun will shine again and new growth will be observed. Don't be afraid to think to shake things up a little. Um, I definitely feel like there's something about feelings. I, I feel like this has to do with feelings, honestly. Um, whether you're a guy or girl, you could have feelings for someone that's unexpected. You could uh, feel things, and you know, you know, towards a partner that's unexpected. You may have a reaction to something that's unexpected. You know, this is like calling somebody. You know, you may not want to call family on this day. <laughs> This is like calling a family member. My guy's saying calling a family member and you know, you get into a thing with them because they've said something that just pisses you off and you're just like you you just let them know, hey, you've pissed me off. This is what you've said, you know? Um so that's something to be aware of. Um so, and there is something about electricity happening on this day as well. Okay. There's something about electricity because electricity came up in this, in this book. So I definitely feel like, um, you know, people have talked about electrical stuff, you know, also in predictions, I've seen that. And I do resonate with that, which is interesting because it's coming up in the cards. So, 
um, storms or electric, you know, this could be electrical outages um, for some people based on storms. I don't necessarily feel like this is, um, like my guide said, like a tropical, could be a tropical storm, um, like a big tropical storm or something, um, or it could just be a hurricane or a rainstorm, you know, where you live. Um, you know, I just feel like there is something about electricity. So make sure you get some batteries and you have like a backup kit and stuff like that. But don't go into that place of like, oh my God, the world's going to end and like, you know, everything's going to go to total shit. Because I don't feel that. I really don't feel that for this total solar eclipse. I just, that's why I'm recording this video. You guys need to know that, okay? I do feel like the sun and Virgo energy, the Virgo energy is much stronger than this Leo energy at this time, I will say. Um, because it's just... Why? Well, because Mercury is in retrograde, number one, in Virgo. <laughs> and number two, because the sun is going to Virgo the day after. So um, I definitely feel like there's a practical element here, the Virgo practicality. So on a practical level, this is like losing something, you know, this is finding something, this is, you know, delays. Um, you know, maybe a traffic jam, like it's just pra it's like a practical thing, you know, maybe you're short on grocery money or maybe you're short on paying a bill, but it's like, it's not the end of the world type stuff. It's like the small stuff. So don't sort the small stuff, okay, around this time. Just don't let it go. To me, there is a strong letting go element. And especially if you have any plans in, in, in Virgo, Scorpio, or Leo, or any of the other fixed signs for that matter, it just feels like there's a thing about letting letting things go. And if there is a loss, let's just say there's a loss of some kind, any kind of loss, I feel like it's really meant to happen at that time and it will benefit you later. So you may not see, like, so let's just say you had a job loss, for example. I don't feel like this is gonna happen for most of you, but let's just say you did. You're gonna find a better job with better benefits, with better pay. It's gonna happen. So I don't want you to be in that place of fear or worry. Um, this is where I want to talk about get into the spread. I did lay out a spread for you guys, um, and I want to talk about the spread that I laid out for using my Shadowscape deck. So interestingly enough, um, you know, get the Nine of Swords at the center. And the Nine of Swords is about the fear, worry, doubt, you know, not being able to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, this is one of two negative cards for this total solar eclipse. So there is no net, no blockages of what's coming in from the outside, no blockages for the outcome. There are no blockages really for this total solar eclipse. So I don't see this eclipse being bad. I really just don't. And when I say bad, I mean, I just think it could be worse. That's what I think. It could be a lot worse uh, for eclipse energy in general. Um, you do have the seven of wands as the foundation, and that is about stress. This can be arguing, or, you know, arguments, circular patterns going around and around. Um, things may may stress you out at this time. So, anything that you can do to alleviate stress, do it. Um, you know. You know, just just try to to work on your stress levels, bringing them down. Spend time calming down. Spend time uh, relaxing. You know, I definitely see that. Um, there's also like this light, heavy combo feeling. Okay, so I want to talk about the Ten of Wands in the position of emotions. So emotionally, this is being overburdened, you know, or just having a lot of shit on your plate, a lot of shit to do. And again, that Virgo energy is about having a lot of shit to do. And because Mercury's in retrograde, you might not be able to get everything done, or it just may take you longer than expected. Or because of the, the sun and being Leo for the eclipse, it may just be like, you don't get it done, period. You know, or you're fixed on trying to get something done and maybe you can't accomplish it for whatever reason and it pisses you off, you know? Um, I don't, I feel like this is not about like work stuff. I feel like work stuff, um, I mean, for some people, you know, your career, you know, there may be something going on with you in career that's affected, but because Virgo is an earth sign, but I don't feel like for the majority of people, that's gonna be the case. I really just don't. Um, I feel like this is emotional baggage, emotional burdens. I feel like the the Leo energy, okay, is also about that heart space energy. 
And the heart space energy it talks about, it's about relationships. It's about love. It's about feelings. So the outcome <laughs> for uh, the, this, this spread for this eclipse is the Ten of Cups. And the Ten of Cups, for those of you who haven't watched me, is the sex card. It's the sex card, one of the sex cards. And it can be about like a full relationship, a soulmate type relationship, having feelings for someone, having the hots for somebody, you know. Uh, it can also be about hookups, like one night stands for some people. Um, whatever, whatever's going on that's weighing you down, either emotionally, you may have a lot of shit on your plate. I feel like there is a lightness about this total solar eclipse. Hang on just one second. So I was saying there's a lightness because the fool is crowning you guys. So we've got the fool. Um, to me, it's about travel. To me, but it's not just about travel. It's about to me, it's a feeling of lightness. You know, uh, so air signs being affected. I know the air signs are definitely going to be affected because the fire, the the Aquarius, because of the Aquarius. Um, lunar eclipse i think on the seventh i think that's a factor uh i don't want to go too far into that i think it's the seventh i'm not sure on that date but anyways so there's something about lightness here um something about lightness feeling good feeling light the ten of cups says the outcome is a great outcome because that means like things you know things coming together <laughs> pardon the pun okay things coming together <laughs> you know, at the you know, for, you know, for this with people, you know, it could also be you know a text message or something that comes through, um, because the the eight of pentacles is right next to it, or having the hots for somebody at work or while you're working, you know, um, some of you do, you know, have there's somebody at work that you you know have the hots for, you know, you can meet someone through work also. So let's just say you go to like a like a work event or like a party or something, and and um, you know, you could, you could meet somebody, you know, when you're on the job or um, at like some kind of work thing. Um, there also is, because it's so interesting, because I pulled the King of Wands and the Strength card. It's me. They both talk about Leo energy. The Leo energy for the solar eclipse is strong. I'm not saying it's not, because it is a solar eclipse in Leo, but um, it's positive. There's nothing around these cards that's negative. So... The Leo energy being the positive, the positive aspects of the Leo is going to be pronounced here. So generosity, kindness, um, being in the moment, um, being open to things, open to new experiences, uh, having a strong friendships, um, having a strong bond with people, having a strong connection to someone, um, spending time with friends, spending time with family. These are all positive Leo elements, positive Leo traits. Um, and uh, Leo's the king. Leo's the natural king. He likes, he, okay, she, likes to be um, doing things that make people feel good they you know the leo likes to to kind of indulge to me this is indulging some of you it's food some of it's you know wine some of you it's you know a, a, a time you know where uh, you're just doing fun things some of you it's spending time by a pool or spending time with your kids but it's just doing there's this element of um it, it's sort of indulging in, you know, some of you may be on vacation. This could be vacation energy as well. You know, you're taking a later vacation for some of you in the summertime. Um, but it's all the positive. And I'm getting a tingle. When I'm talking about the positive Leo traits of this total solar eclipse, it's here. It's definitely here. So there is this also this element of positive work changes or positive, um, you know, developments at work because the eight of pentacles is somebody who's working and making money and bringing home the bacon and um doing very well for themselves um and leo is 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 a on the positive side it's about expansion to me it's about expansion and taking something small and turning into something larger you know maybe starting off in an internship and then getting growing into the ceo of the company you know this could be also starting your own business i'm getting a vibe somebody starting their own business or a business for themselves or thinking about starting their own business or going into business and um 
you know, this is this is doing very well. This is also positive financial things. I don't see a lot of financial cards here. So I actually don't feel like the financial sector is going to be as disrupted as everybody thinks it is. I just don't because I don't see it. I'm telling you, this is just my feeling. Uh, does that mean I just want to say this is this is for entertainment purposes only. So uh, I am not responsible for anybody's poor choices when it comes to any kind of investments or anything like that. Um, there is something really sweet here that's showing up that has to do with children. You guys got the King of Swords in the, the, in, in the immediate future, and the King of Swords can be, uh, I usually see this as a deceased loved one, a male deceased loved one, or um, being very spiritual, someone who's very spiritual uh, or religious. It can be spiritual or religious or a kind of a combination of both because it's not necessarily the same thing. Um, but the Six of Cups is, has to do with children. And to me, this is about your children being looked after by a guardian angel, uh, being looked after by, you know, or by a deceased loved one or somebody who's kind of really looking out for them. And so I wanted to tell you that, like, if you're very concerned about kids you know if you have kids um this is where i i just want to tell you not to worry number one i i want to tell you not to worry about this eclipse there's a lot of people who are but i just that's what i want to tell you that's what i'm seeing um oh wow hmm hmm There's a really great energy. Um, I pulled the Eight of Swords in reverse just to see what else I could see about, you know, about the spread and, and any, any other information. And the Eight of Swords in reverse is about bre breaking free. Breaking free of uh, karmic, karmic agreements or karma, um, letting go of negativity, letting go of things, uh, breaking old patterns. So some of you may have been in a pattern of sorts, either in relationships or doing something in your life and maybe frustrated about it, but this is like breaking free. I, I usually see this is a very strong karma card, you know, it could be karma, uh, but, but it's also a feeling of restriction too. Some of you, it's like, you know, I always say it's Aretha Franklin, it's the freedom song. To me, it's about breaking free, wanting freedom, wanting some, your time or wanting time to maybe decompress. I definitely feel like there's something about going somewhere to decompress, literally going somewhere to relax. Because we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. And the Queen of Cups in the reverse is about the strong turtle energy you see and it's about you know in the upright she's going through a time of transition and she's making her way in the world but in the reverse it's about she's she's gone away she's gone away she's gone to a beach and she's relaxing on the beach because I, I said that earlier i think so and, and i say she it could be he too you know you know guys that are watching this could be you uh, taking time to relax taking time off taking time um, to some with children. The turtle spirit is very much close to you. You know, it's all about in native, my Native American deck. It's all about uh, pregnancy and fertility. So, um, so some of you may be trying to get pregnant around that time. Um, and I will say because it's around, well, I was gonna say, no, well, it could be, it could be, but again, uh, the timing might not be right for some of you on that. It could be later down the line if you're looking to get pregnant, you know, t timing issue there. Uh, could be. But um, I also feel like the Three of Cups in reverse is a good one as well. The Three of Cups is another energy that's showing up here. And the Three of Cups in reverse to me is about not hanging out with friends, doing things more alone, doing things more on your own independently, and having some quiet time. You know, so some of you may want to take some quiet time and just to be alone. Some of you are very single. So like this is where it's like singles. Those of you who are single, um, maybe you don't have kids or maybe you're a single parent. You know, it, it could be um, that as well showing up here. But it just feels like to me that there's this element of maybe needing alone time, wanting to take alone time. Uh, there's something about that. Um... So, and relaxing. I definitely feel like, and relaxing. Mm -hmm. I definitely feel like there's some element. 
I feel like some of you are going to be tapping into this more fixed Leo energy because Leo is a fixed sign. But because of this eclipse, there may be something about releasing the past and or breaking free and or cha change that's it may be that you've been resisting change for some of you, but then there's something that changes everything. And, and it's almost as if, it's almost as if your world is shaken or your world is turned upside down, but everything turns out for the best. So I think it's, oh wow. I, I think it's going to be really, really cool to see what happens around this time. Uh, you guys did get the Empress in reverse, and that's true love. Uh, that's someone really loving you. So we got, we got a lot of positive energy around this eclipse time, guys. So um, don't forget to watch my Twin Flame video. Also, for those of you who have a Twin Flame and are trying to come into, you know, wanted to come into physical union with your twin, that video is also out there. Um, but for everybody who's watched this, thank you guys so much for, uh, you know, liking, sharing, subscribing, Google Plusing. Uh, definitely give me a thumbs up. Definitely click the subscribe button. And I will back again for more. I think I covered everything that I wanted to say. So um, be positive and um, yeah, enjoy enjoy anything that comes from this this eclipse. So it's gonna be really cool. Um, I send everyone big hugs, big kisses. And I will be back again for more and I will talk to you guys again soon. All right, take care. All the best. Bye.